Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Desmond and in my today's tutorial, I want to show you on how you can connect Cobalt Toolbox to Google Sheets. So most of the time, we may want to monitor data live at the comfort of our phones, how data is being collected in the field. So today, I'll show you on how you can link your Cobalt Toolbox to the uh, Google Sheet. So here I have a um, patient tip uh, trauma assessment form and I have made at least five submissions here and uh, I want to link it to Google Sheets so that I may not be tempted to go back to the download every time and export my data so that I can see it. This one is possible in Cobo Toolbox so what you simply need to do is go to the setting tab here and uh, here I have the sharing. You will click the sharing option here then there is share publicly by link so you will simply need to check the two options here i have anyone can view this form and anyone can view submissions mail to this form so the next uh, step uh, that you you will do is simply go to the data tab here and uh, you will simply uh, see here i have the options download here so next you will see this select export type it must be XLS here. Then uh, value and header format is labels. Then here I have the advanced options. So I'll simply tap on the arrow here and uh, I'll get these options. I'll have to check. Uh, first of all, I have these export selected many questions as a uh, single and separate uh, column. So include all the versions. So for if you want to include the groups in the header, you can simply uh, check here and uh, here you have the group selector. So I have um, so data and uh, number responses as text. If you want to do that, you can simply check there. Include media URLs. You can simply include the media URLs if you wish. And then here I have the save selections as. I can simply save my selection uh, whatever name that I want. Here I can give it the name triple S underscore AB1. Uh, then on the right hand side here, I have select questions to be exported. I have the start and end. This is the starting time and ending time, the metadata. Uh, then there is a select type. These are the questions in my form. And um, you can simply select whatever you want here. Even we have the user ID and uh, everything, the index and version. So, so I'll simply hit export and uh, my form is actually ready to be downloaded. And uh, I can simply download by tapping uh, this download button. So next thing that I'll do is uh, simply uh, copy this uh, URL here and uh, open another tab and uh, paste it. So I'll have to delete the old part of this um, from the right hand side up to uh, here. And uh, I will now want to get the API so that I can link my form to Google Sheet. So I'll simply add slash API stroke V2 and I'll simply hit enter. This is what will display. I have the Cobo Toolbox form building API here with me. And uh, what I'm interested in is uh, actually these uh, assets. I need to get the asset for uh, my my API here. I'll simply hit the Control F. Uh, this is just uh, to search my form easily. I had the name of my form was triple uh, S underscore one. Here it is. I'm only interested in this part here. What I need here is simply the my CSV a comma separated value uh, link. So you will notice that we also have the XLS form here. This one this one is actually similar to this one is similar to our download here so if i hit this download uh, link here i'll simply get my form now i want uh, my csv i will copy from right from my double quotation from the left hand side to the right hand side here also i'll also include the the final comma there so next i will want to open my uh, google sheet so i'll simply type sheets.new or you can search it in your gmail uh, here is my sheet and uh, is on um, sheet trauma assessment this is tip trauma assessment i am now ready to work on it i'll simply enter the formula is equals to import data and uh, here it is so i'll simply uh, paste my link now the link that i copied from here i'll paste it here so next i'll do is uh maybe to open another double quotation speech mark and uh, next is uh 
semicolon and I'll close my double quotation and then I simply hit enter. Then I'll wait my form to load and here it is. This is my Google uh, Sheet uh, that is connected to my form here. Whenever anyone enters data, then I'll simply track it live on my Google Sheet in my phone. Kindly hit the subscribe button so that I'll show you on how you can link Cobo Toolbox to Microsoft Excel. Thank you.